Hey, this is Steve, and here's some cool stories happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. Robot tails wagging, Bluetooth toilet flushing, and an iPhone Swiss Army case. Taily is a wearable tail on Kickstarter that wags when you get excited. The tail hangs from a belt that has sensors on the inside and reacts to the user's heart rate. When the person wearing the tail gets excited, the tail wags furiously. When they are calm, it just kind of swings back and forth slowly. Taili's inventor Shota Ishiwatari is also the inventor of a prototype pair of NeuroWare brainwave-controlled cat ears called Neko Mimi. Customers of the cat ears loved them so much they asked him to produce a matching tail, so he decided to start work on Taili. Taili costs about $97, and you can find out more about Taili on Kickstarter. Did you forget to flush? Well, you can rest easy because a Japanese company called Lixel has invented the Bluetooth toilet with an accompanying smartphone app for Android. The Satis toilets are set for release in 2013 and come with some helpful features. Using the app, you can raise the seat, flush the toilet, play music through built-in speakers, keep a toilet diary, and the most fun feature of all is the extended bidet feature, which you can most certainly scare the hell out of your friends with. If MacGyver had an iPhone case, it would be this one. Task 1 is a project on Indiegogo that basically turns your iPhone into a Swiss army knife. The inventor of the case is a former Apple engineer named Addison Shelton who believes that your phone should do everything. The case houses 16 tools including a 2.5 inch knife, a 1.8 inch saw blade, screwdrivers, and a bottle opener. The screwdriver even doubles as a kickstand for watching videos. If you're interested in a Task 1 case, it's available in black for $75 for the first 200 backers. Or you could just get a lobster case. The University of Pittsburgh's Pitt School of Medicine have developed and successfully tested brain implants which allow a patient to operate a robotic arm through mind control. Jan Showerman, a quadriplegic, was able to feed herself a piece of chocolate for the first time since she was struck with spinocerebellar degeneration in 1996. She was able to take a bite out of a chocolate bar using the power of her mind. IBM is predicting that in five years, your smartphone will be able to smell your illness. The project called Five and Five is betting on a future where our senses will be accurately interpreted by computers in the year 2017. This would allow your smartphone to warn you if you have an upcoming cold, flu, or a more serious illness. IBM is predicting that this technology will revolutionize medicine and help combat serious disease before it has a chance of becoming dangerous to a patient. And finally, have you ever wondered how a snowflake is made? The American Chemical Society produced this awesome video explaining exactly how a snowflake is created. It all starts with a tiny particle of dust floating in a cloud, which eventually becomes surrounded by water vapor, which then forms into an ice crystal. From there, the ice crystal transforms itself after reacting with colder and warmer air and blossoms into a beautiful little snowflake. Check out the video at the Bite Size Science channel on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's the show. You can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. And it's the end of the year, so make sure to check out the best of the best from this year in Crave. And by the way, last week I totally forgot to include the results from the Into It, Not Into It segment on episode 102. So here are the results. DeLorean Taxis lose. Smiley Face Body Monitor loses. But the Trade for Chocolate app is a big winner with 65% of the vote. All right, guys, that's it from Crave for 2012. We'll be back January 18th, 2013. Have a happy new year. NASA Johnson Star. Johnson Star. This is Shots in Space Center, we are coming in hot, so don't burn up as we enter. We do science every day, that affects your daily life, throw them up for manned space flight. Science everywhere, as we engineer the marbles that fly through the air, and take us way beyond Earth's level, science everywhere.